Indian tractor brand Mahindra has enjoyed a reasonable amount of success in Australia. But if its recent dealer conference in the Gold Coast is anything to go by, the company is determined to make 2018 the year it takes its local operations up a whole new level. Attended by about 120 people, including dealer representatives, industry partners and members of the media, the conference highlighted Mahindra's key strategies for continued success in Australia. This included launching not one, not two, but seven new tractor models into the Australian market, as well as a rebranded range of utility vehicles. Our chairman's vision is to be a world um, recognized brand, uh, and that's a tall order. And the way we will do that is clearly with product. Uh, Australia is an important market for us. Um, it keeps us in terms of technology, in terms of customer requirements, uh, keeps challenging us and it's really, really important that we have to compete. We've been here for 12 years um, and we intend to grow our share, both on the automotive side and on the, on the farm side, but we will stick to what we do best. Among the new gear launched is the brand new Jivo, a specialist compact tractor sitting at less than one meter wide, but with an astounding lift capacity of 750 kilograms and high ground clearance. Next is the Max 28 HST and Max 36 HST, additions to Mahindra's established subcompact workhorse range. Both models are built in Japan's new Mitsubishi Mahindra plant and come with loader and 4-in-1 buckets ready for work. Moving up the power ranks, the 50 horsepower 3650 PST features an all-new eco-friendly Tier 4 direct injection engine that provides cleaner emissions at a lower cost with no DPF. The 6075 model features creeper gears allowing the rig to crawl as slow as 0.47 km per hour, perfect for vegetable applications. Topping the new product ranges are the 7580 and 7590 with 80 and 92 horsepower respectively. Both offer heavier builds for tougher applications, twin speed PTOs and a four-cylinder inline diesel for better fuel efficiency and a flat torque curve. Tractors aside, Mahindra has also unveiled its rebranded Mahindra UTV range, which will now bear the Retriever name, as well as several styling and engineering upgrades. All new models will be available for sale by spring this year. We have been uh, having a good response to Mahindra brand from Australian consumers. Uh, we are right now operating in a limited HP range. So our first goal is to expand our product range to cover more HP ranges and gain market share from that. So we are really aiming to be in top three in the uh, Australian market and at least double the volume in the next three years. Mahindra's optimism was shared by its dedicated group of dealers who were certainly excited by the wider range of products they are now able to offer their customers. Mahindra at the moment I think are, are really going in the right direction. Um, the, the new models they're releasing um, are, are all the models that we've been looking for um, and a few features that they have. Probably exciting times for Mahindra and, and for us as a dealer.